going on everyone well, welcome back to another video today we've got surprising facts about netherlands marine corps so let's see all about these marine corps we've got in the netherlands today before we get started guys don't forget to smash the like button subscribe to the channel it truly helps out with the youtube algorithm so that would be awesome without further ado let's get it see what we got Marine Corps from the Netherlands. In our last few videos, we've gone into great detail about the country of the Netherlands. We've talked about how the country itself is fantastic and what it has going for it. As well, we've done a few different videos looking at the military and more specifically the special forces okay. of the country. But as we look further into the Netherlands, we find that they are a very unique people, but do have traditional values similar to other countries around the world, such as defense. And with that in mind, today here on FTD Facts, we are going to dive a little bit deeper into the country of the Netherlands and look specifically at one particular unit within its military. And that is us looking at the brave soldiers that make up the Marine Corps of the Netherlands. Okay. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to FTD Facts. My name is Dave Wapple. Like, and to be honest guys, the I've never actually cultures, peoples and places from all around the world and yeah we're beginning to look a little bit at military i've never actually seen anything as well. about now, military in funny. the netherlands so like this, this one would be like quite interesting around the world not just Let's the keep militaries going. but also the cultures as well you want to hit that subscribe button because man sometimes it just feels really great to just really educate yourself and you know you can impress your friends with all the knowledge that you have as hmm. well here on the channel we take a lot of recommendations from you guys so if you guys have a suggestion for a future ftd facts video be sure Same to here guys same here below. now one of the reasons we are doing this video is because like i said at the beginning of it all we've done so many topics on the netherlands yeah. now if you guys are interested in the country or anything else such as the special forces which we just recently talked about i'm going to put some cards in throughout the video that are going to appear up here also we got some links down there in the description box below and of course we got some stuff at the end of the credits as well and also before we get into this video I'll okay i just want to skip all this well known as the Corpse right. Mariners, and actually just to let you guys know throughout this video at some point I may accidentally call them the Corpse Mariners. It's Corpse just my accent. Marinas. And since their introduction they have been a specialized force within the Dutch military and as of today they are capable of getting anywhere in the world within 48 hours. So Damn. one question that I have is how long have these guys been around for? Well to answer that I gotta go into some of the history because for the Marines of the Netherlands, the Dutch Marines, they got a really cool history and got some really cool records that no other country has okay. well firstly the Corps mariners are one of the oldest units in the entire dutch forces now they were established on december 10th 1665 after they were approved by the prime minister johan de witt and admiral michael de rutger now this was during the war between the dutch and the english known dutch as the english. second anglo dutch right. war with the original name of the Corps mariner oh, being the regiment de marine and for the Regiment de Marines, one of their first major strikes was during the raids of Medway in England, where they had about 1,500 troops at the time. Now, although it's not actually official, there's a lot of people that have speculated saying that this particular regiment, the Regiment de Marines, were the first unit in the world to have ever specialized in amphibious combat. However, one thing that is officially known is that the Dutch Marines as a whole are the fifth oldest Marine force in all of Europe, as Spain, Portugal, France, and England came first. But it should be noted that during the raids on Medway, there is one thing called the Battle of Chatham, in which is a town in Medway. And this was a particular battle where the actual Dutch Marines won against the English. And it's one of the only few times in human history that the English have ever lost a battle to foreign invaders on their own soil. And although oddly enough, they saw action against the English during the Third and Fourth Anglo-Dutch War, by the 1700s, they had allied being a part of the Dutch English force that captured Gibraltar in 1704 and they even allied again with the English to capture Algiers in 1816 and as for the Marine Corps they were seen in at least nine combat operations before the 1900s some of these were as I mentioned before but there was also the West Indies Dodger Bank like, literally Algiers, I have no idea more. about this but now let's fast literally. forward to the Second World War because the Dutch okay. Mariners as a matter of fact they actually 
saw quite a lot of combat despite the fact that the Netherlands remained fairly neutral throughout the Second World War. Okay. And the reason the country pretty much declared itself neutral is because not only was it pretty much occupied by Germany, but they were also fairly neutral in World War I. But as for the Dutch Marine Corps, they in fact did see combat during the battle and bombing of Rotterdam. And you may have heard of the Dutch Marine Corps being also known as the Black Devils. Well, it was this particular battle where they got that name. Because even with such few soldiers, although losing the battle due to a major bombing, they managed to fight off an effective German force, even holding and preventing the German paratroopers from entering the city. However, this all ended after the Germans bombed the city and overwhelmed it with a superior force. And the story is, is that the German officer or general that was in charge of the entire battle saw how few troops the Dutch had. And even though they lost the battle after putting up such a good fight, the German officer wow. commanded his own troops to salute these individuals as they were one of the most severe and bravest forces that he had ever encountered. It should also be noted that because the Battle of Rotterdam was such a pinnacle moment for the Corps Mariners, it is every single year that the Marine Corps of the Netherlands celebrates its birthday at the East Square in Rotterdam to commemorate those who gave their lives for the independence of their country. And although the Netherlands became occupied by German forces during the Second World War, it was the United States that had helped them train more Marines for the Netherlands at two camps in North Carolina. Okay. Now, these particular forces saw combat in the Dutch West Indies against the Japanese, because although the Netherlands had surrendered to Germany after the Battle of Rotterdam, the royal family had moved to England, and in 1941, they declared war on Japan. But in today's world, the Corps Mariner, they have been in places like New Guinea during the 1960s, Cambodia in the 1990s, and of course, Aruzgan from 2006 to 2010. They've also been deployed in Afghanistan, Yugoslavia, and Kosovo, in which they are currently still there, as well as Iraq, the Congo, Liberia, wow. Ethiopia, so many and a different few others. Areas. So there's a little bit of Crazy. history, but let's talk about some unique facts of the Marine Corps of the Netherlands because they've also got some pretty cool things going for it as well. Yep. Now, first, one That's big question that jumps people. to my mind is that can a woman join the Corps Mariners or the Marine Corps? Well, believe it or not, as of January 1st of 2017, they approved females to be part of this yep, unit. I knew and it. things have actually progressed even further since then, because as of February 5th, 2018, there is currently at least one woman that is in the training program to become a Dutch Marine. Now, when it comes to the Marine Corps, one question that I also wonder is how is the structure of this unique group? Well, first of all, all the Marines fall under what is known as the Marine Training Command, which under that there is the Maritime Force Staff and as well as the 32nd Raiding Squadron, which is based out of Aruba. But on the main forces of the main Maritime Force Staff, there is the 1st and 2nd Marine Combat Group, which they have Raiding, Reconnaissance, Parachute, and Combat Specialist Squadrons. Wow. Under that, there is also MARSOF, which actually we talked about this particular Special Force group in our last video again well there it is right there you guys can check it out at any time or it's gonna be at the end of the video or in the description box below on top of that there is also the surface air training group which provide vessels and vehicles for the rest okay. of the corps so they have and there's also the seaboard support the group which guys. provides the maritime logistics okay. for the marine corps now all these soldiers have to finish what is called the maritime special forces operations capable program which takes uh, approximately about one year to do this whole one program. One year, guys. One year. Since I discovered this... Dive even deeper, let's take a look at the equipment and their numbers. Currently, there is approximately 2,300 of these soldiers that are a part of the mm. Navy of the Netherlands. Their main assault rifles are the German Heckler and Koch, as well as the USA SIG Saucer MCX, and more commonly, the Canadian C7. For the machine guns, they use the Belgium-made FNMAG, and for snipers besides your 50 caliber USA M82A1, they also use Great Britain's Accuracy International Arctic Warfare. And to add a new addition to the Corps Mariner, they are also using new Black Hornet drones, which are tiny little drones oh, that wow. will be used for recon and surveillance. <laughs> That's quite and awesome. It should also be noted that no when joke. it comes to this particular group, they actually have a really, really, really good relationship with Britain and the United States as well. 
well. As a matter of fact, their biggest bond of friendship, as they call it, is with the Royal Marines of the United Kingdom. As a matter of fact, even for the British, they call the Dutch Marines cloggies for, you know, clogs which come from the Netherlands, right? But for these two forces, it's quite often that you will see the Corps Mariner operating with the English in what is known as the British Three Commando Brigade. So there you have it, guys. That is a look at the Netherlands Marine Corps. What did you guys think of this wow, force? Wow, pretty and interesting, would this be to be a honest. group that you would join if you were part of their military? Me, personally, I don't think I would join, but let me know, guys. Would you have joined that? Let me know in the comments below. I actually... I was trying to focus a lot here on this video. I don't know. It's interesting. Interesting. The history I did not know about. And uh, I like how it's in categories, you know, that is truly interesting. Let me know, guys, what you thought about it in the comments below. And if you got any other video recommendations, give me a link in the comments. I'll check it out. And if you've made it so far till the end, guys, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and see you on the next one. Peace out.